I got it first. I want to uh, thank everybody. Obviously, I'm very happy to be back here. Um, extremely happy to be back, you know, in training camp. It's been a long summer. Um, fully healthy, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited to come back here, compete. Um, I've had a lot of learning to do and watched a lot of films, so I'm excited to be able to play offensively, defensively, whatever role they put me in. Um, I'm excited for that. It's a... Uh, you know, when you when you go through a long off season like I have, you get to learn a lot about yourself and the company you keep. I have an extremely well support system, um, and I think that with everything that I learned, there's times you need to speak and there's times that you don't. I had probably how long until I talked to you guys? I was talking to you guys in February of last year. Whenever there's something that needs to be said, it will come from Zach Levine or my representation. You know, there was a lot of thoughts and rumors, opinions about me, um, about the organization. So just know whenever it needs to be come from me or them, you'll know it'll be from them. Um, I think Rich talked one time, and this is my first talk time to you. So everything else you can take with a grain of salt, um, with false narratives or whatever it may be. Um, I think going forward, the best way to handle, you know, a lot of this stuff is I'm in a great situation, a great headspace. I'm fully healthy right now, um, which I don't take for granted. Anything negative that will try to pin me, the organization, the rumors, drama, whatever it is, I leave that in the past. I'm focusing a lot on this camp right now, going forward on you know this team and helping, learning, um, and just having a good time. You know, I think I think that's something that's not talked about enough is you know when when you need to you have good energy you only give into that you know I don't want to keep talking about the past or anything because there's a lot of things I can't speak on um, but there's no reason to um, you know I had a conversation when I first committed to the Bulls and signed my deal here with Michael um, with Jerry AK the front office with the commitment that they gave me the respect they gave me um, I'm going to continue to give them that same respect, but not just the way I play, but with my professionalism. And um, that won't waver. You know, I could, that's something I stand on. So, you know, anything going forward, I think that's, you know, how I'm going to answer it. I'm looking to, you know, get any questions that you guys want. But, uh, you know, I'm excited for this camp. I'm excited for this year. There's a lot of things that we can do uh, moving forward. So, what's the first one? one right here. We, we could all go home now. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just joking. Zach, uh, Casey Johnson with the new Chicago Sports Network. I um, want to ask you just kind of your thoughts. Obviously, you had two significant roster changes in yeah. losing Alex Caruso and DeMar DeRozan. I wanted you to hopefully speak on their tenure here. And you kind of already alluded to fitting in with this camp and this new group. But how do you envision that working out on the court, especially with a guy in Josh Giddy, who's obviously a, guy, a playmaker and that yeah. needs a ball in his hands a lot? You know, I think, obviously, good luck to Alex and DeMar. Those were huge guys to our team. And, um, you know, wish them nothing but the best of luck. And looking forward to playing against them and, and talking a little junk to them when we see them. We have a, you know, we have a hell of a, a playmaker in Josh. You know, we played against him plenty of times, and we know what he brings to the table. Um, I understand the roles that I play. Um, but there isn't a situation or a role that I haven't been successful in. And it, it, if... It needs to be on the ball one day, off the ball, defending, rebounding, um, leadership. There, there isn't, there isn't a, a role I'm not, you know, comfortable in. So, you know, I'm looking forward to get out there and playing with Josh and competing and seeing, uh, you know, definitely having my hands ready because he can pass that thing. Zach, Joe Colley, sometimes I, I know you said you did a lot of thinking and had a lot of time to kind of process. You talked about the support system and all that. What went into that thought process, and, or, or was it the support around you where to make sure that you didn't come into this season with worried about the name on the back of the jersey and not the front of the jersey? Because that's an easy trap to fall into, considering everything you've been through, everything that's been reported, everything that's been talked to. What process did you go through to make sure that you don't fall into that trap, which would be human nature? I think whenever I'm able to have the chance to put on a Chicago Bulls jersey, I take pride in that. Um, I have since I was traded here, shoot, eight years ago. Um, and 
you know, I think that's always been first and foremost in my book. And then being prepared for not just physically but mentally, um, you know, with the situation um, that that you're in. You know, this is a business, and you have to understand what comes with it. And, you know, when you get to a certain status like I have, that's what you have to understand. And, you know, I'm okay with that. I've never ran away from it. Um, so I've been, you know, I, I was preparing myself, you know, just like I would for the season for everything else that came with it. To that, how do you make sure you then block out the noise that will continue to go, especially as this year goes on, trade deadline, all that kind of stuff, because it's going to be there. When, when you're able, when you're able to play basketball, um, you know, a lot of that stuff goes away. You know, last year I was, unfortunately, I was able to, you know, I got hurt, and you, know, you can't play anymore. And when, when that's taken away from you, you know, it's a lot, not a lot that you can do besides sit there and try to get healthy. So I think just coming back, being able to be ready for camp and playing is going to take care of yourself. Over here, Darnell Mayberry, the Athletic. Mm -hmm. You mentioned a few times now your mental space and how at peace you are. Can you elaborate on that and just how you got there this summer, given everything that's going on with this franchise and your teammates, former teammates, and what that means for you? Uh, I mean, I'm in a good space. You know, I think recovering was, was great. Um, being able to have a full summer of training was incredible. Um, I have a beautiful, beautiful wife and family and kids. You know, there's there's not a lot for me to be upset about or mad at. You know, I'm in a good place, and you know, when, especially when I'm now coming back into camp healthy, it, it, there's really nothing for me to complain about. <laughs> hey Zach, Will Gottlieb, CHGO. Uh, just given the way that everything kind of worked out with the last couple of months and missing time, um, and all the narratives that you're talking about, do you feel like you have something to prove now coming back in terms of like you are still an elite talent or? You know, you can't still be the guy on a team. What's kind of your mentality around just returning to play? Yeah, I mean, everybody uses fuel and motivation differently. I always have a chip on my shoulder. I've played that way since I was 12 years old. Um, I think not just for me, but for us, we have a lot to prove. When people doubt you, you know, you get a little satisfaction with shutting people up. I think that's a, I think that's a mentality we can take forward. And then, um, you know, obviously some change on the roster. What, what kind of conversations, uh, Billy mentioned that he went to go see you. What do you kind of, what have those conversations been like and what do you expect your role to be? Is, is that gonna be different at all from previous years? I think when you're coming into a situation where we had a little bit of turnover, you, you have to have those conversations to be, you know, get prepared for what roles you may be in, you know, what is gonna be asked of you. I've had, I'm in my 11th year now. I've had a 126, 127 different teammates and six different head coaches. There isn't a situation that I haven't been successful in or prepared for um, or a role I haven't played. So I told Billy, whatever's going to be needed or asked for me, I'll be ready for it. And, you know, we can, you know, get ready to get this thing moving. Hey, Zach. I'm Andy Seligman with the AP. Um, just what is your level of surprise that you are here and didn't get, you know, didn't get traded. Like I said, we, I'm talking about anything with camp going forward. I, I can't speak on the future. Um, you know, I, you know, I wish I had, a, you know, a crystal ball. I'd, I'd talk about a lot of things. <laughs> Even Drew Stevens with the Bigs, um, Zach. There was a report that there were up to 15 proposed trades this summer. Uh, or going back to last season with you involved, you're still here. Do you take it kind of personally that you weren't be, you weren't able to be moved? I, I, like I just said, man, I I don't speak on rumors. I don't speak on things that I don't know is true or not. Um, I know I'm ready for camp, and I know I'm wearing Chicago Bulls jersey. Yeah, I'm happy for that. Zach, uh, Josh Hicks, Honor Daily News. Um, Kobe White obviously had a pretty impressive season last year. We made a case for Most Improved Player of the Year. As he, uh, what expectations do, you, expectations do you have of him going to take on more of a leadership role, more of an experience role this upcoming season? And uh, sorry, second question is, Derrick Rose obviously retiring. Yeah. Um, you had your fair share of moments playing against him. Yeah. What was, what's one of your fondest moments of it? You know, the first one for Kobe. Kobe Kobe's been ascending since you know we drafted him. You know, um, you know we've seen it, but with the opportunity of you know injuries or whatever it may be, Kobe was you know. When opportunity knocks, some people are ready to step through that door. Kobe's always been ready for that. Um, 
you talk about his leadership. He's been doing that for the last couple of years. Kobe's a very outspoken person and, and somebody that we can count on for consistency, you know, not just with his play, but with his personality and the way he talks, you know. So I think that's going to be great for us. Um, you know, Kobe's going to continue to get better and better. I, I've been one of his biggest supporters, you know, since he, since he was a rookie, and I, I can't wait to see where he keeps going. Um, D. Rose, man, he's a legend. There's not enough that you can say um, about the career he's had and the struggles that he's had and his ups and downs, but I think as a person, you know, from the – and I don't know him personally like some other people do, but having conversations with him and other people around the league of how respected he is and how much better of a person he is than a basketball player, and that says a lot coming from a former MVP. You know, so um, my hat's off to him. I hope him and his family are, are extremely happy, and he's had a hell of a career. Zach, we, we talked to you in, in L.A. in February um, right after the surgery. You said you're fully healthy. You said even then you were going to beat the organizational timeline. I assume yeah. you had pretty much a normal off season. Yeah, a little, talk, little, little bit longer of one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> talk us through that process and just kind of what shape you're coming into camp in physically. I feel really good. Um, you know, I recover, I recover quickly. Um, I think I was doing contact in June. And, you know, since then I've been training, um, you know, on my body and, and, you know, everything else. So it's, uh, you know, I'm ready to go. I had a full, full off season. Nothing, nothing different that I wouldn't have had. Um, you know, I'm very prepared for camp. Thank you guys.